Uh, PT-13, PT is primary trainer. A lot of people learned how to fly in this airplane. This, uh, this would have been the 30s and 40s for these airplanes. It's, it's a lot of fun because you, you build these model kits when you're younger, and now this is the real thing. Um, your little balsa wood and fabric kits that you build, this is, it's pretty much the same process. It's a lot of fun to take apart what they have done. You can see exactly how they did something, how they folded a piece of fabric or how they sewed it, and recreated it the exact same way. This is the uh, center section of the upper wing for the steerman. Um, in the process of doing the restoration, when you're taking old fabric off, taking parts off, uh, you see markings on here from when they were putting it together. Uh, little hints of what's left, what goes left, what goes right. Uh, you also see on a lot of the parts, you'll see original factory stamps. Uh, that's part numbers for each part when they're assembling it. To start with, we had to take all the old fabric off. Then we had to clean up the, the frames, the structure, and put uh, varnish back on so the wood is all prepared for fabric. Uh, then you have to sew up envelopes, which are basically like big pillowcases that are in the shape of the wing. You pull them on. Uh, then you stitch all the seams around the corners of the wings. Then you rib stitch the wings to hold the fabric to the wing itself. And then you start applying the finishes, which uh, through finishes, you get about nine coats total. And in fabric, a coat is actually two applications, so you're talking about 18 times you have to apply the materials. Applying a, a coat of dope onto the finishing tapes, this is the uh, horizontal stabilizer, and you just want to fill the weave of the fabric and get everything nice and glassy smooth. They had to go to England to get the fabric. Uh, they couldn't find anywhere in the United States to get the, uh, the aircraft grade cotton, so we had to go overseas to, to find that. Basically what we have in front of us is, uh, this is a blueprint that will tell you the exact dimensions of how to sew the fabric envelope for the fuselage. Um, you know, it's given in inches and then it'll have reference areas, you know, like at 48 inches. They want you to have the fabric cut to this dimension. Airplanes we work with, work with now are mainly sheet metal, so you, you learn all those skills, you know how to buck rivets and lay the sheets over each other. Well, uh, this is a completely different process. You learn a little bit of it when you're in a and school to become an aircraft mechanic, uh, but a lot of it is hands-on learning as you go, learning how the seams are supposed to be sewn and how to pull the envelopes on. Uh, it, it's a real enjoyment to see it from the shape that it was in, taking it to almost looking brand new and knowing that it's done right. Everybody has to do their own part. Somebody's sewing, somebody's applying the finishes, somebody's uh, attending to the wooden parts. You put a lot of hard work into it and, and you know your, your product is good when you're done, but to see somebody who it, it really means something to them, that it takes them back to when they were younger, and, and you can just you can see how they feel and it, it makes you feel great.